world and it's difficult to work with these brackets. Cut this off about a foot short. All right, first one's done. Six foot tall, dual uh, enclosure, screen enclosure, so I can get my night and oils out here during the summer. I'm not much of a handyman, but the uh, right tools for the job, and you gotta love Amazon, there's the empty box. Uh, there's my bad boy set up. There's my pile of lumber. And it seems like every time I wanna start doing something, it's freaking raining. So, got my umbrella up. I'm gonna go ahead and try to get some work. I don't know if you can see the little pattern that I got here, but this is where I just did the eight six foot tall two by twos. So four here, six foot tall, identical here. This is gonna be for two enclosures. And I'm sure there are people smarter than me with better woodworking skills, but now I gotta measure in the middle all the braces coming up. The front will have obviously a door opening, but the sides and in the back will have uh, probably at about a three foot height so I'll, I'll frame up the two just uh, frames of the two enclosures and then I will uh, I'm going to work on this base I'm going to put some two by fours on the bottom put wheels on it so I can move it so let's uh, let's work on framing up this right side and then we'll do the left side so again I'm not the handiest man in the world and it's difficult to work with these brackets for me anyway so I went ahead and short up the bottom and that way I can screw directly into this through the piece of plywood into the two by fours on the bottom so I can get this thing going yeah when you don't know what the heck you're doing but you have this idea in mind things can get a little frustrating but I'm gonna work through it okay Like I said, I'm not the most mechanically inclined person in the world. So I ditched the braces for a second, come back to them, drill some uh, pilot holes. I made a little brace get up with some scrap wood from a previous project. See how far I can get doing this. I think I'm gonna have to replace this driver head here in a second. Right. Okay. There's that. I don't know. Uh, I'm probably running the some issue I did wrong as I go to put the other walls together, but I'm dedicated. Something I want to get done. So, uh, and there goes my Dougal breaking out of the uh, back door. Hi, Dougal. All right. All right, we'll come back and show you where, where I'm at here in a second. So it worked pretty good getting two sides together. Now to finish the sides, my question is, when I go to drill these holes and put these screws in, am I gonna hit the screws that I already did? Oops. That's, uh, let's not be a <laughs> Beep, pardon my language, I'll beep that out. Let's not be an idiot. this here yet. Switch you over there. Just put my little spacer back on my little block. Right. Okay folks. Let's see how lucky I get with this. I'll, I'll go a little bit off to the bottom I guess. I'll go a little high. And on the inside. There we go. Yep, yep. So, I 
hit a screw, let's go at an angle. Okay, so that's the ticket. Just gotta play around with it a little bit. Whew. The screws are a little thicker than the drill bit. Let's see how lucky I am. one more and then we'll come back we'll come back in a second and hopefully I got four walls up Whew. all right that wasn't too bad figured it out six foot by two foot I need to do the sides and the back some braces at the three foot mark the front I will do a brace across the bottom at the two foot mark leaving me room for a four foot door in the front and I need to do uh, another one of those completely because these are going to be two six foot by two foot enclosures side by side so. okay got all my uh, my center braces see that's why I don't work with my hands because I'm clumsy the center braces and uh, this is the screen that goes between the two enclosures that are side by side so this is the middle side and it's awkward to work with probably wouldn't be quite as bad if, was, if I had you know two person job helping me but half the fun is doing it yourself, I guess. So I'm gonna just finish cutting it out and then staple it down. And so I don't have to worry too much about aesthetics because the other side, which is identical to this framework I just did, will butt up against it. So I have some uh, six millimeter screw uh, staples. Let's get this thing stood up so you see what I'm talking about. All right, so that's the right side. Here's the screen I just put on. This will be the front door. The screen will be on the sides and the back, but I'm gonna get the whole thing put together before I screen the rest of it. I got casters that are gonna go on the bottom before I secure it to the bottom. And uh, now I just gotta do the other side. I got all the I got all the boards, or excuse me, all the, yeah, the boards cut. Now I just need to put them together and set it next to it and screw it all together. And then uh, screen it all up. Six foot tall, two foot wide, two of them side by side. And I thought I got enough wood to do another one of these, but I think I'm gonna have to go buy some more two by twos. All right, let's get to work. Okay, framework's done for the most part. There's the uh, center screen sandwiched between the two enclosures. I'm gonna go ahead and, I haven't secured them together or anything. I'm gonna go ahead and take them off the base, put the casters. I have, uh, we'll put two regular swivel and two locking swivel on uh, the base so that I can easily move it around. And uh, it's been a long day might call it quit shortly but if I don't I will update you guys on what I do see you in a few 
All right, so where we left off yesterday, it is now Sunday. Got up and went to the aquarium this morning. Got my some volunteer time in. Um, the next thing I'm gonna do is, I've already marked some, where I'm gonna drill some pilot holes, but I'm gonna go ahead and use these corner braces to shore up several locations around it. Cause right now it's just, you know, just one screw. So it's a little, probably once I put the screen on there, it'll be fine, but I, I just wanna be doubly sure that it's nice and, nice and sturdy. So that's what I'm gonna work on now. All right, so I shorted up some. I installed some of these uh, galvanized brackets up at the top mainly. The bottom I'm not too worried about because it is actually screwed into the platform. And I also went ahead and um, put a door stop and I'll do one across the bottom there. That way the door, this is the front, the door will open and it'll stop right there. And uh, I went for the top, I notched it out. So on the other side, it'll sit just like that. Just like this, go ahead and I'll drill some pilot holes and go ahead and screw it in. And then it'll just be a solid piece. Get out of my shadow, it'll be a solid piece down at the bottom. So we'll be back in a second. All right, my first door's on. Um, Always the trickiest part for me, as I said before, I think I may have said before, I am definitely no carpenter. Sticks a little bit, but that's all right. Nice and snug and not too difficult to open. Um, for this first door, I went ahead and I tried to do these little metal brackets first. That, and that was a pain in the butt. For the second one, I don't have the hinges on it yet, but I went ahead and screwed in um, the ends after drilling my pilot hole and uh, now I'm gonna go ahead I've already marked where I'm gonna install these in the fork in the four corners sorry for the camera going everywhere I'm trying to talk and show you guys at the same time but second door will be done here shortly and then I'm gonna wrap it and screen I don't know if you've noticed but there's a screen in the middle already up I just got to wrap all around it all right moving along Doors are on. So I just got done stapling down the top and what I'm going to do is this, I'm not just going to trust the staples so I'm going to put a one by, drill my pilot holes and screw one by in over every place where I've stapled the screen down all the way around the entire double enclosure. So that is what I'm going to work on now. Do the top, I'll do the back, I'll do the sides and then I'll work on the doors or I'll work on the bottom and the doors. Be back. Alright, so the top's all done. Trim off the, this in here. Probably ought to be using some gloves. This is the aluminum screen. And it can be a little sharp. air on the side of caution because I can always trim off excess but if I cut it too short it's screwed. Come on back back dad yes that was my dad alright it is Tuesday when we left off on Sunday we had finished the top and put the screen on the back and I had enough screws left to put the bottom trim work on so now I'm gonna do the six foot pieces vertical trim and then I'll do the uh, horizontal pieces in the middle and get this back all secured up and then I will work on the sides and the front bottom and the doors and then getting all the screen on 
So we will come back, hopefully, if the rain holds off, after we have all the screen on. So the back trim work's all done. Got it looking good. Can't really see any edges. Helps support the staple some. Now I'm going to go ahead and do the two sides, the screen. So what I have is on this left hand side here, that's 24 inches exactly from the edge of the screen to the uh, 1x4. And the tape measure is at 6 feet, so I'm going to go about 2 inches past uh, the tape measure down there uh, just to make sure I have enough. In case I cut something short, it's always better to have too much than not enough when you're trimming. So we'll go ahead and film this, see how this razor knife works while I'm working on this. Here comes the Dougal bug. Watch out, Dougal bug. So, watch out. Move. Get, 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 get. I told you I wasn't all that mechanically inclined. I didn't realize I should have went all the way up to there, so I cut this off about a foot short. So, but that can go around the front. Oh well. All right. Let me uh, let me cut get these screens cut, and I'll come back here in a second. Fine. Okay, so I got it all uh, wrapped for the most part around with the one buys uh, everywhere where the screen was stapled, and I just got my wife to help me hold up the remainder of the screen over the two doors. So now I'm going to go ahead and uh, and uh, cut out around. Hopefully, I can do it with one hand and hold the camera. Probably shouldn't do it like this, but I just want to show you guys how I did it. That's part of this. And again, I'm sure somebody with more skills can do it better. All right. It's day eight between work and other family obligations which are much more important in lizard cages and uh, mother nature we got a big storm approaching the east coast tonight but they said we have a couple hours before it gets here uh, for all intents and purposes this cage is done I got uh, all the trim uh, over the mesh that was previously stapled on my last thing that I'm going to do here in a second is sand all around in here because the door is a little little tight but I'm happy with them I mean it's doable I could I could work with it the way it is but I'm gonna go ahead and get some sanding done and I'll show you once I'm done with that
first one's done six foot tall dual uh, enclosure screen enclosure so I can get my night and holes out here during the summer uh, I'm gonna post this video uh, before I start working on the second one um, still has some things that I want to do with them um, auxiliary heat is important for me so I'm gonna figure out something to put on top so I can have a couple ceramic heat emitters on a thermostat that if on a cool summer night gets down into the mid 60s the ceramic heat emitters will kick on um, also I'm gonna look into some brass misting nozzles and try to hook up some sort of uh, mist system that I can either hook up to the hose or to some sort of power head um, I can have a bucket of just tap water I'm not gonna I'm not gonna put a mist king on this because I want to be able to move these things around hence I put them on casters so those are the two big things and I got to decorate them May 15th is the target date, so uh, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe, hit that bell, and when the, the summer gets here, you guys will see a whole bunch of lizards in the backyard. All right, until next time, thanks.